Stop it. Get some help. It can be easier to improve your reading and writing skills than to keep putting it off. Take the plunge. Call the reading writing hotline. So the Cringe Cup has returned to Duel Links, and just like everyone who plays this silly game, I'm looking to grind myself to Duel Level Max, to fuel my crippling gem addiction. Especially considering Arc V and Pendulum is literally less than a month away. But after spending a few hours yesterday grinding myself to King of Games using gimmick puppets, I'll leave a little shameless plug to the video of that decklist up there, I really wasn't exactly in the mood for any more tryharding. So I went searching through all the new stuff I've been given lately to try and find a fun little combo that was strong enough where I could still use it to grind, but was definitely more of a for fun kind of a deck. That's when I stumbled upon Double or Nothing, and I instantly remembered a ZW Utopia deck I had run into on ladder quite a few times now that was able to create an untargetable, indestructible Utopia, and boost its attack to 6000 plus, and essentially Double or Nothing is there to, well, double that. So here's my deck list. Now just before I get into the list, just as a friendly reminder that if you enjoy any of the content you're watching or find any of the content useful, to please leave a like on the video down below and consider subscribing whilst you're down there. I'm getting pretty close to 50k now, so I'd appreciate all the subs I can get. Especially if you're one of those freeloaders who've been watching multiple of my videos now without being subscribed to the channel, and I know there's a lot of you out there, so please consider finally giving me a sub. Alright, so basically this deck's entire playstyle is based around a couple of variations of a 3 card combo that aims to create a utopia and equip it with at least two different monsters. The base of this combo is built around Utopic Onomatopoeia, which as you all know is name is treated as the entire Onomat art type, and its effect allows it to special summon multiple Onomat monsters from hand. Because of this, we are also able to special summon a driver from hand, who if summoned via a Doody monster, up to twice per turn could target a Doody monster on board, and increase its level by one. Then, as long as you've also summoned a glove or a coat, you'll have the three pieces on board required to combo off. Using driver's effect, you want to make two of your monsters level five, so you can exceed summon into ZW Leo arms. Careful which monster you choose from as material, as if you're using glove for the combo, you're going to make sure to use it as material, so you can use the effect to summon it back once it's attached, or if you're using coat in your combo, you're going to want to keep that on board, so you can use the effect to summon back monsters later. Leo's effect is once per turn you can attach one exceeds material from this card to add one ZW monster from deck to your hand. You can target one Utopia monster you control, equip this monster on the field to that target. It gains 3000 attack. During your battle phase if a monster attacked while equipped with this card, you can send this equipped card to the graveyard. The monster that was equipped with this card can make a second attack on opponent's monster during the battle phase. So using its effect you attach one of your monsters to search for Tornado Bringer which essentially can be equipped to Utopia to make it untargetable and prevent it from being destroyed by battle by destroying itself instead. If you already have a Tornado Bringer in hand, you can search for Lightning Blade instead, which can be equipped to Utopia to prevent your ZW cards from being destroyed by your opponent's card effects, and prevents Utopia from being destroyed via card effects by destroying itself instead. After that, depending on what variant of the combo you're using, you're going to want to special summon back the material you use to activate your search effect. This will give you the two monsters on board to summon Utopia. You can then just simply equip your Leo arms on board and up to two different ZW cards in hand to your Utopia to make it immune to targeting effects, boost its attack to well over 6k, plus prevents it from being destroyed by battle and potentially card effects as well. Now if you didn't use up all three of your equip spell slots, there is one final piece to add to your combo. Double or nothing. When a monster's attack is negated, target that monster. It can make a second attack during this battle phase, and if it does, its attack is doubled during the damage step only. Now Utopia's effect can negate attacks, and it can actually be used on itself. So by simply negating its own attack, you can activate double or nothing to double Utopia's attack to 10,000 plus. Alright guys, that's enough of me talking, the rest of the video will be gameplay showcasing the list, I decided that for this video I wasn't going to do commentary over the gameplay like normal, as this deck really is just a highlight reel of the same combo in action, so there really isn't a whole lot of important decision making involved, it was just brainless, me summon big boss to smack puny opponent style gameplay. And for that reason, I thought it'd be more fun if I just showed the raw replays, 
and because of this I would get to include more replays as well. Remember if you are enjoying this video or find any of the content useful, to please consider liking the video down below and subscribe to the channel whilst you're down there. Enjoy the gameplay!
Hey, big brother, can I watch SpongeBob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.